Hey jazz fanatics, this is part two of how to sell CDs at gigs tactfully. If you have not seen part one, then I encourage you to click the link at the upper right hand corner of the screen to watch that and then come back to this one. Here's one last brief example of how I promoted my CDs at a recent gig. And then I'm going to share with you one last important tip. What's amazing about Smalls between the two sets, it seems like the age has gone down at least 10 or 20 years. <laughs> so chances are you guys are a little more technically inclined than myself. Has anyone found out a way to autograph MP3 albums? <laughs> Well, until that happens, we <laughs> have something called a CD. They're still hip. They're still cool. They're so cool that we're off. I have five different ones. And if you like the music, they're here. Uh, the first two are $10. Anybody who wants more than two, and I guess we have maybe a handful left, it's only $5. So don't rush all at once. <laughs> One final important tip, if at all possible, set up your CDs by the exit of the club for the obvious reason that people will have to pass by it before they go home and you want people to take CDs home, make it easy for them. The second reason is if you only have them by the stage area, you're giving people one more thing to do, one more decision to make. And the fact is after the set, they're gonna be doing one of three things. Either they're gonna be talking, or they're gonna go back and use the bathroom, or they're busy paying their bill. So give yourself the best chance by rushing back to the CD table by the exit and begin thanking people sincerely for coming out. The fact that you're that close to your CDs will increase the chances that they will wanna take one home. Once again, unlike my CDs, subscribing to this channel for more music business ideas is absolutely free. And if these ideas are helping you in any way, please feel free to comment directly on this video page.